Hi class, Dr. Brooks here. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, today we're going to have a lesson on graphing linear inequalities. So first let's review some things that we already know. We already know slope-intercept form of y equals mx plus b. We have graph lines like this. y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. We've graphed that in the coordinate plane. There's our x-axis. There's our y-axis. Um, let's just review the quadrants in case anybody needs a review. One, two, three, four. And this is our origin, zero, zero. So to graph from slope-intercept form, we first plot the y-intercept. In this case, our b is negative four. So we're going down four on the y-axis, and we plot that point. Then we look for our slope, which is our m. In this case, it's two-thirds. So we put our pencil there on the y-intercept, and we do our rise over run. So from here, we're going to rise up two. That's our top number, one, two. And we run over three, one, two, three, plot our point. Then you connect the dots and extend the line. Okay. So that's what we already know. Now we're going to do this as an inequality. So our first example we have as y is less than 3 fourths x plus 2. So very similar here. Our x-axis and our y-axis. So uh, we're lucky, it's in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So we plot our b, which is our y-intercept. We'll plot that on 2, up 2. That's the point, 0, 2. So we look for our slope. Our slope is 3 over 4, rise over run. So you put your pencil there on your y-intercept, and we are going to rise 3, 1, 2, 3, and run 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we plot our point. Now, before we connect the dots and extend the line, we look and we see if this is going to be a solid line or a dotted line. So this is going to be a dotted line because it is just a less than. If it is just a less than or just a greater than, you're going to have a dotted line. So that's what's going to happen in this case. We would have a dotted line. If it had the little or equals to sign underneath, so um, let me help you see that better. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. In that case, it would be a solid line. So now we have to decide where we're going to shade because it's an inequality. So that means only one side is going to hold true for this inequality. So what you need to do is you need to choose a point to test. So you're going to test a point, an ordered pair, an x, y, and a great point to test in this case would be 0, 0. What you're looking for is you're looking to test a point that does not fall on this line. And 0, 0 is an obvious point that does not fall on this line. So we're going to test 0, 0. And what that means is that means we're going to let x be 0 and we're going to let y be 0. y 0, x is 0. So I put my 0 in for my x, I put my 0 in for my y. Now I'm going to work that out and I'm going to see if that's true or false. So 0, 0 times anything is 0, so I have 0 plus 2. And so I get the 
result of zero is less than or equal to two. So then you decide if that's true or false. Is zero less than or equal to two? Yes, it is, it's true. Zero is less than two. And that is how you decide where you will shade. And you can just shade with your pencil. And what I'm doing, I am shading towards the point that I've chosen, that side of the inequality, because it's true. Had it been false, I would have shaded the other side. Okay. And as you'll do these, you'll be able to recognize when you're going to shade above, when you're going to shade below. But I wanted to give you a full example on what to do. So give me a minute while I clean that off. We're going to do another example. For our next example, we will do y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. So again, it's in slope-intercept form, and I'm trying to ease you into this so you will have a few that are in slope-intercept form as we begin. x-axis, y-axis, quadrants, 1, 2, 3, 4, origin at 0, 0. Is it in slope-intercept form? Yes, we already decided that. Plot the y-intercept. So that's the point 0, negative 3. And in this case, our slope, our m, is 2 over 1. So that means we rise 2 and we run 1 from our point. So we come down here to our point and we rise 2 and run 1. We plot that point. Now we have to decide if it's going to be a solid line or a dotted line. And since it has that or equals 2 underneath, it's a solid line. And you might already guess where you were going to shade, but let's just test a point. A point that does not lie on this line that's easy to see is 0, 0. So let's test 0, 0. That means I'm going to let y be 0. And I'm going to let x be 0. 0 is greater than or equal to 0 times anything is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Is 0 greater than negative 3? Yes, it's true. So again, we would shade towards the point we've chosen. So next up, what if we just have something that is y is greater than or an x is less than and you only have one variable yet you're asked to graph in the coordinate plane such as a y is greater than negative 3 or and x is less than or equal to 4. And we're not on a number line now. We've done that already. We've covered that. At this point, we're graphing in the coordinate plane. So I have told you all a trick to help you remember which way these lines go. And if you remember the trick, the X, if you make an X like that, if you can see the X, those are the ones that are vertical. And the Y, if you remember the old cursive Y, those are the ways to remember that the, the Y is horizontal. Okay. So Y, greater than negative 3, so we come down here at negative 3. We still follow our rules of should it be a solid line or a dotted line. Well, this does not have the little or equals to underneath, so that's a dotted line. And it's a Y, so I knew it was going to go horizontal. 
and it's greater than. So greater than in this case just means above. So you would shade above. As for the x, x is less than or equal to 4. So we go 4 on the x-axis, and it's or equal to. So that's a solid line. And it's less than or equal to. So less than means we're going back towards negative infinity. We're going to shade that way. So thanks for hanging in so far. Just a couple more examples left. I'm going to show you what to do when it is not in slope intercept form. So let's just review what we know. We know that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We also learned something called standard form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c. That's linear standard form. So what do we do if we have an inequality such as 3x plus y is less than 8? Well, we're going to do the same thing that we did when we, when we did this with equalities. The same exact thing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put it in slope-intercept form. So to do that, we subtract 3x from both sides. 3x minus 3x is 0. Those cancel. So we have our y. And we know we cannot subtract 3x from 8. So we have to write those separately. And what we're going to do to make it look like slope-intercept form is write the negative 3x first plus 8. We did not multiply or divide by a negative number, so the sign stays the same. And we're ready to graph axis, y-axis. We're going to plot 8 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plot our point. And this time our slope is negative, so we know we're going to have a, a line that's going to slope down. So instead of a rise, we're going to have a fall of 3. So we fall 3, 1, 2, 3, we run 1, we plot our point. Does it have the or equals to sign? No, so that's a dotted line. And by now you should realize I'm going to test 0, 0. So if y is 0, less than 0 times anything is 0 plus 8, that would be 8. Is 0 less than 8? Yes, it is. It's true. So I shade towards the point I picked. Our last one will be just one more in standard form. Just want to make sure that you've had enough examples. So let's do 2x plus y. is greater than or equal to negative 3. And if, if you think you're getting the hang of it, go ahead and pause the video right now. Not you, cameraman, but the students. Go ahead and pause the video right now and try it on your own. If not, I'll work it out for you right now. So we wanted to, get, to go from standard form to slope intercept form. So I will subtract the 2x from both sides. These will cancel. And we have y greater than or equal to. We're going to put the term with the x first because we want it to go into slope intercept form. Negative 2x minus 3. Make our coordinate plane. So I'm going to plot the y intercept first. 
so I'm coming down three. That point is zero, negative three. The slope is negative two over one, so I fall two and I run one. It has the or equals two, so it's going to be a solid line. Connect the dots, extend the lines. I'm sorry, my line is not straight. So I'm going to test zero, zero, but zero in for y, greater than or equal to, zero times anything is zero minus three. Is zero greater than or equal to negative three? Yes, that's true. So I shade towards the point I picked. So your homework is going to be to do T3 under Algebra 1 in IXL. If you need a little more, if, if you're, you've mastered this and you want a little more practice, you can go ahead and try T1 and T5. Those are basically just testing values and deciding if they are true or false. That's just if you want to work ahead. So the only thing mandatory um, that I'll check the end of the day on Wednesday is T3. Thanks. I hope you're all doing great and have a great day.